Good day, YouTube. I was going to say TikTok then, but then I remembered. This video is for YouTube, not for TikTok. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. Um, I've basically just been lazy and haven't really bothered. Hang on, let me block out the light there. As I was saying, I've been a lazy man and I haven't really bothered on YouTube. I always forget because I'm just like, oh, YouTube, I, do I even have a YouTube channel? Sorry, I'm just taking my socks off right now. <coughs> oh, that's mud, by the way, that's not poo. Anyway, on today's video idea, I thought I could run you through the quintessential things that you need to be British. And I haven't even got one of them with me right now. Transition, pretend this is... Here, this is a British hat. I don't know what this actually is called specifically, but it's very British. As soon as I wear it, I'm like, you know, me old chap. Oh, go down to get a pint later. Don't know what that was, but anyway, the first step, dress well. And, you know, that's a very important one because it means either dress like me, all stylish and cool, or dress in trackies, tracksuit bottoms, Adidas, Nike, you know, go one end or the other. Go really, really classy or go the opposite. The reason you want to do this is because you want people's respect. See, they'll see you like normally, you know, if they see you just as you are. Let me give you an example of why you need to dress well. This is me without the hat. Someone's like, hey, sir, how's it going? Who the fuck are you? And what are you wearing? You don't want that. Instead, you want this. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you. Would you like a cup of tea? I also love your hat. That's what you want. You don't want the other one. The second one is you need to know how to make a cup of tea correctly. So here is how you make your tea. First you need a mug, and because it's the Jubilee where the Queen is a thing, the thing for the Queen, I have a picture of the Queen on this mug. In celebration of her 100th birthday. Wow, didn't even realize this. I'm not joking, look, it says 100th birthday. So Queen Elizabeth is 100, anyway. What you need now is you need tea bags. And the best kind are these. Yorkshire tea. This is the only option to use because they're strong and they're full of flavour. Look. That is good, good stuff. Then you put the tea bag in there. Very easy so far. Here is a kettle which you use to boil your water. Don't use a microwave or anything like that. We're not. American here, you need to know how to use a kettle. And it's very simple, you press that button, which is probably actually simpler than a microwave. And the other thing you're gonna need is milk, here. There we are. And now you have your water, pour it in here in the mug to about there and the very important part is to wait how long three minutes and if you want to make a better cup of tea wear wear hats like this because it puts you in the frame of mind to make a good cup of tea because it's like a thinking cap but you think about how you make tea because it's not a simple process teaspoon not a latte spoon or one of those long ones a teaspoon that's like that now what you can do is either leave it or you can push it to the side to get all the flavor out see look that looks very good now i'm going to take the tea bag with the spoon you don't need a string because you use a spoon and any tea that has a string is weak and not worth drinking now this is the cool part watch And that is perfect. That's the perfect color for the tea to be. And it's in a perfect mug. You couldn't get anything more British than this mug. And then when it's cool enough, you go like this. 
when it's cool enough that I burn. I hope you found that useful. And now back to the studio, the bedroom, back to the studio bed. I hope that makes sense. Um, before people say, oh, don't add milk, you should, because this type of tea we use, you're supposed to add a little bit. That's kind of the whole point, because um, otherwise it just tastes a bit shit. You wouldn't do it to like a herbal tea or mint or something, that would be weird. And also, if someone asks you, do you want the cup of tea, don't respond with, oh yeah, what have you got? They'll look at you like, pardon me? Tea just means English breakfast. Don't question it. And they might ask you, what do you want in it? You either say, oh, just a bit of milk, quite strong. You might say, bit of milk quite strong with a little with two sugars or a sugar you know however you like it some people are don't like it sweet i don't i quite like it strong and manly you know that's what they call a builder's tea a builder's tea is a strong tea without sugar the third one is very important and i know people that don't like this but they're idiots and you should just don't even listen to them but you need to like Harry Potter. The good thing about that is it's an international franchise. Everyone knows it. But just make sure you are, you know, quizzed up on it. Because someone might ask you, do you like Harry Potter? And you'll go, oh, no, not really. I don't really like that stuff. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck you. But, um, yeah, like Harry Potter. Be able to quote things like, Potter, if you steal from my personal stores again... Or you could go, Potter, pathetic Potter. You know, you just got to know, know the characters, know the franchise. It's a great talking point, because if you can't talk about it, people might just assume you're an idiot. This one is very important. You have to be able to understand the slang. A great word to call someone if you want to make friends with them. This is a slang term. It's like, you probably heard mate before. They say that in Australia as well. But uh, if you call someone a nonce, that's a great way to get going. So you go, hey, hey, you right, nonce? Oh, you're such a nonce. That means you're such a, a cool guy. So yeah, say that to someone in public if you ever arrive here and they will probably shake your hand and offer you a cup of tea and maybe a place to stay at their house. I'm only joking, don't say that. That is a bad word that you shouldn't call someone. I was gonna keep this in, but I don't want people actually doing that. Bollocks means oh bollocks it means oh shit oh what have i done another good one is mucker me old mucker sorry these are all like really outdated ones i don't really know slang well but i'm i'm sure you could use these and get a good reaction taking the piss this one is very important if someone is taking the piss out of you they are joking around with you, making fun of you, but in a light-hearted way. It's basically banter. Taking the piss is banter. And if you come here, you have to get used to that because people make fun of each other. Also, pissed. If you are pissed, you are drunk. So that guy over there, you know, the one drinking six Cronenbergs or whatever they're called out in the park, he's pissed. Remember those things and make sure you do them well and you'll fit right in just like a local and next minute you'll be drinking tea with the queen and you know reciting the whole lines of harry potter thank you for watching and i hope you found this useful until next time i could give i could give some more tips if people need them or could use them i could think of some more i'm sure there are more but these are the essentials thank you for watching and have a good day